Good morning. In one of my videos very recently I showed this hat which has a 2x2 two two rib on the bottom and what I did I worked the rib on the needles and then I transferred it to the Addy to finish off the hat part and a YouTube viewer asked me if I would demonstrate how I actually did that. First of all I actually worked the rib on these needles because it's a 5mm needle for worsted yarn but because the cord is actually too short for my next purposes I transferred them to my knit pros where I have interchangeable longer cords. I also went up a needle size to 6mm to give myself a more generous loop to actually be able to go on the Addy. First of all you have to get it in the right position make sure you're getting the right strand um, through your feeder. What I'll do, I'll pull this cord through here. Here's, here's the yarn, going to the yarn bolt, and I will put that through the feeder in readiness. So the needle, the back needle is in readiness for receiving the yarn in position one. Now, as you can see, that black needle is up. And what I did, I used a loom pick. So there's the first stitch. And hook that on the first needle. If you've already seen um, Susie Notting's video about how to do a brim on here, it's basically the same principle. I'll move that needle down there, get it out of the way. Now I will turn the handle very, very slowly until that needle, the second needle on the left, emerges. So just scoop it off with the loom. Make sure it's as far down as it'll go. That's it, it's gone down. Okay. As you can see, the first one has still not knitted off yet, but it will do as we go around. But we're more interested in not going too far and miss the emergence of the next needle along. I'm going to zoom in in a moment, which means I need to readjust the camera as well. But just so you can see a bit closely what I'm doing. Get that lined up. That's it. Move around. And the first needle has gone down now completely. And the fourth one is emerging. So I'm just going to leave that there a second. They're not going to go anywhere, it's fine. And I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see a little bit better. Okay, off we go again. There's the needle with a few stitches. And the fourth one's emerged, but I've not put one on yet. But it looks like I've gone a little bit too far, but I think it's still salvageable. <laughs> Try and do it a little bit to, more to the left than that is there. Oh, well, actually, that was alright, so maybe it's okay. But just be aware, do try not to overshoot it. I already put this one on. And because this is obviously a 46 needle machine, it's going to take a while. <laughs> but it's patience, isn't it? As you can see on this side here, the second needle has now sunk into the bed. That's all goody there. And the third needle's done the same. Right. As many of you probably realised, a 46 doesn't divide by 4 equally, which means a 2x2 two two rib ordinarily on the Addy um, is not workable. But how I was able to do that was because my gauge was such that I cast on 92 needles on 92 stitches on 5mm needles. I was then able in the final row to knit two together, purl two together, and that gave me the 46. Um, I think people who have the innovations will be able to work the two by two rib far easier because that's divisible by four, 44 stitches. Okay, next one. There we go. 
this is um, red heart yarn, worsted. Having that extra cord is really reassuring that your needles aren't going to slide, um, your stitches aren't going to slide off the back of the needle. Oh, I knocked it backwards. Hope it's not hurt anything. No, it's fine. It goes on quite easy, but I do think definitely increasing the needle size just before you're putting it on the needle bed, it really helps. I've knocked it back again. It was me doing that, putting it on, pushing it down. Okay, the time to push it down, therefore, is when you actually see the base of the white needle in the middle there. I was trying to put it on before it actually fully emerged. Well, I'll know for next time, won't I? That's there. Cheryl, I have to be gentle with it. As you can see, it's look a bit taut there, which is fine. We'll just pull that through there like that, which is the cord coming through. But then I want to move the needles further up to um, move them along. So I'm pulling it at the other end now, which is just underneath here. But then the, you might feel that the needles making it taut here, in which case you get the cord and you just put it back through. If any of you used magic loop before, or is it magic ring? Hang on, which one's crochet and which one's knitting? I'm on about the one where you use cords in, in place of DPNs. Um, it was called one or the other, I can't remember which. Well, you'll know what this method is then. It's either magic loop or magic ring. I'm getting mixed up with crochet, but it won't, it's that method. And if you're familiar with it, that's all I'm doing basically with this.
Okie dokie, we're on the last bit now. That's knocking on the table leg. This edge you find it's feeling a little bit tighter. Oh, heck. Luckily, I didn't lose that stitch. Yeah. But it's doable because there's only like three left and three needles, which is great news because I know I haven't gone wrong anywhere in putting them on. Sometimes it's just keeping them on that's the problem. But that's just practice, isn't it? We'll learn by doing. Last one. So. Um, and some more further around. Oh, that's fine, it just didn't drop down. Oh, maybe that's the case for all of them then. Let's have a look, I'll go slowly. Oh, so maybe I haven't dropped stitches. Well, we'll see. Wasn't properly closed, naughty. It's good news. I'll be reassured when I've done one revolution. Sometimes this um, first row as well, after you've put it on, it can feel a bit tight, as if it's like the cast on row. So you might hear a bit of clunkiness going on. So this next round should be a lot easier. That's it. doesn't it yeah so that is how you get a, an already ribbed brim on the addy after knitting them with needles I hope this has helped thank you for watching take care bye bye